four years ago. I see we've explored the darkness of the human heart. Now it's time to explore the darkness of offices. Sales offices! We'll make arrangements right away! I used to work in this kind of environment. Oh no, 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 no! Not at all! It's all thanks to you! <laughs> Regan coming from a sales background would make so much sense. Or is this him starting his business? <sighs> I wonder what I should do now. I gotta read those again. These things go by so fast. A hole in the wall place for adults. I'm sure that's all kosher. Plenty of other fellow part-timers, yeah, I bet. But I'm sure it's just uh, entertainment, you know? It's just drinking with customers and singing songs. Nothing seedy happening here. But it sounds more fun than packing I sushi. Place without having anything lined up. <laughs> that is so Reagan. I love it. You can become a millionaire too. And that was all it took. <laughs> that was Reagan's destiny calling him. You know, there is a way of living that is the only way of living I know. <laughs> Well, you're kind of just winging it. I think the way I always heard about life being was you identify a passion, you figure out what the way to make money is in that passion, and then you get the required skills or accreditations or whatever you need. And your wish is then realized in that way and you can sort of reap the rewards of your success and enjoy what you're doing. What I've always done, um, because planning is difficult for me, is I'm like, this looks cool. And then I throw myself into that and then I, I drown or almost drown and I get knocked on my ass and being knocked on my ass frustrates me and so I just keep eating it I keep eating the blows until I actually emerge into a point where like I have some stability in that, that thing and I get vital lessons from it and then I move on it's sort of like crashing through walls with your face like it's very robust in the sense that you're not insulated from life like life will just whittle you down into something more pure living like that man it's a rush and it's a high and God, is it exciting to follow your gut like that and throw yourself into whatever catches your attention. But man, is it painful. Like the lows are, are, are low. The lows are really low. But so are the highs. And so you keep, you keep going and you don't even know where you're going. You just sort of enjoy the ride and trust that it'll be good as long as you stay true to yourself, which is not always easy. Reagan is a very follow his heart kind of guy. And he exudes experience. You know, he has that sort of street smart thing and wisdom that I feel comes not from like sitting around thinking or like reading, but like just from being engaged, like really engaged and hands on with life, gripping the moments in front of him and being forced to reflect that way, you know, being forced to go that way. It's a strategy for sure. I don't recommend it for everyone, but that's there, you know, if you can stomach it, if you can stomach the uncertainty and you can sacrifice people not understanding you because I think more common is to find people who prioritize stability and therefore who want that for you and maybe don't know another path. You got to eat that, you know, you got to eat the failure of not having things materialize immediately and have no having nothing to show for what you're doing. But of course, because you're in that unventured territory, that's the area of like massive potential. And I guess that's a big part of the individual journey, you know, finding that, that balance between growth and passion and adventure and engagement with oneself and sort of health, safety, stability, foundational growth. And it's tough to know where that line is sometimes. Poor lonely whitey. Not touching that with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> It's kind of cool how this room is body and mind, in a sense. 33. That's actually really impressive, considering his scrawny arms. And it's so funny to watch him struggling with this after, like, that amazing demon fighting sequence. You've gotten stronger, Kageyama. Time As he ever. Celebrate. Your muscles are growing and evolving. Oh, that training is finally paying off. And that works internally as well. All these improvements are making him more confident. Yeah. Just look Damn at right, face. he should be more confident. He's, He's the best. Looks like Mob's having fun over there. We hate people who have fun. Is it really your birthday? Technically, yeah. There's just so much to celebrate today. <laughs> Love it. Why don't we throw a big group birthday party? We could hit up a family I really restaurant like and have going. some fun. I really, I really like, really like where this is you going. Think, Saruta? I want nothing more than a birthday party with the Body Improvement Club and Mob. I never thought you'd stick with the Body Improvement Club for so long. Yeah, I thought he'd throw in the towel pretty quick. Kageyama's persistent, I'll give him that much. Connie believes in him. So do you have some big goal you want to accomplish? Hit it hard for another six months, and you could reach the level of an average seventh grader. <laughs> oh no. But he said that with so much joy and confidence, I love it. Karaoke? Yeah, dude, have you never been before? All right, let's do it. It's not often we get a chance like this. I want this. Well, I, I want this in my life. If you insist. How do I join the body improvement club? It's really nice. Spending time it hanging nice. out with friends. Hell yeah. It's so much fun. Right? 
Look at this kid. He's successful. Speaking of like, you aim for something face first. I'm not sure what the deal is with Tsubomi. I feel like there's something else going on with her. It doesn't matter that it was for a girl. It would only matter if that's where it stayed. Mob had a burning question in his heart. And so he set out to understand life and he took on challenges. And I almost feel like there's no taking on challenges, like sincerely taking on challenges that doesn't lead to some kind of growth. It's like a, a shortcut. You want to improve, you want to grow, you take on something difficult or you take on something that pushes you or you take on something that's a weak spot or an insecurity. And he was aiming for social skills in a sense. And that sort of led him on this path that ended up with him having social experiences that are really great for him, even if it wasn't what he initially envisioned. Life has a path, right? There are certain currents for most people, or maybe, you know, speaking for myself, it has a way of pulling you in directions you didn't think you would go, but it goes nowhere without the momentum. And that momentum is sort of a self-decision. You got to be in it to win it. You know, Mob is all the way in it and we've seen some of the pain it's caused him, but that is great. You know, that's sort of necessary. He would have been worse off having never gone through it. And I feel like everyone watching the show just... <laughs> You look at Mob, you're like, this kid's, he's already great. He's going to be even greater. He deserves this. I'm so happy for him. Hey, there's an evil spirit giving me some trouble. I could totally deal with it myself, but there's been so much work lately, I'd rather not use too much of my power. <laughs> Tell him the truth, Mob. You could, you could be honest Master, with him. could you handle things on your own today? There you go. Stand up for yourself, Mob. There you go. Reagan will look, be happy for him. Here who could really use your help. You got to be a little more no, honest, like all the way you, there. So I'm with friends. Long, okay? No, Reagan, no. He just didn't understand. That wasn't him trying to pull Mob away. Is it that shady ass master of yours again? Yes. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about us. You've done Mob really wanted to go though. Glad you came. People's jobs and responsibilities take priority, so we understand. Of course they do, and that makes it all the more. All those stories about the ghost of a man who hit his head on a block of frozen tofu and died—they're actually true. That's real. <laughs> I thought. How about I make you think of me every time you see a block of tofu? Well, how often does that come up in Japan? Maybe there's still time for karaoke. No, I know, I know that's not where this is going, but a man can dream. Hmm? Meanwhile, What's in New wrong? York. Despite what you think, even I have school and a private life. All you have is that exercise club, right? You didn't fall for someone's fake date prank again, did you? Yeah. Man, you were so gullible. Yikes. Would you grow up already? Oh, this is one of those tragedies of misalignment, misunderstanding. Do they really understand who you are? Reagan's fallen into a similar trap other characters have. I'm one of the biggest reasons you're able to control your powers. Without me, you'd be a lost cause. This is weird trip he's on. If anyone is going to get in the way of your exorcism job, get rid of them! <laughs> those kids don't actually care about you at all. Understand? No, no, Reagan, stop. Just having fun stop. blocking someone stop. as wimpy as you. No! Is he possessed? Is this a spirit? I'm starting to realize that not everything you say is true. Cool. I messed up. It's good. Nobody's mocking me. And I'm not as gullible as you think. <laughs> ah, it's sort of terrifying. <laughs> but I love it. Reagan got a little ahead of himself there. Got a little bit too big for his salty shoes. I'm personally riled up because I wanted to see Mob sing a song. So I get it. This came up in My Hair Academia a lot where there's always more to be done. There are always things to be doing. If you're fortunate enough to be in a place where your actions actually have meaning and value, it's tough to let yourself off the hook a little bit sometimes. But the truth is you're made stronger in those things of responsibility and of greatness by having other things sort of in line. You know, like I learned a hard lesson over the last year where I have been sacrificing something essential in my life for a very long time. And it made me a little bit desperate. It made me a little bit weak. And it made me sort of fall into a hole that has caused some difficulty and drama and interfered with other things in my life. Mob is a kid and he obviously needs time to explore that. And he needs to have friends. Despite this terrible exchange, I love Reagan. Reagan's a great person for him. But Reagan's not a friend, right? Like, at most, he's an older brother, but he's more like a mentor. Mob needs peers. And also, like, couldn't do a whole lot better peer-wise than the group he was just with. I promised this client we'd help in advance. And this is when he finally no-shows on me. This is not a robust business model. He's too weak without Mob. If he cuts ties with me, he'll end up alone again. <sighs> There's nothing to worry about. He'll be back soon enough. Yeah, I want to chalk this up to a misunderstanding more than anything. I can't just keep relying on him forever. So I figured I'd reconsider what I want to do a little more. That's great. <laughs> He's going to be extra sensitive to that too because it hits on his specific insecurities about You messed up, Reagan. Adult. And you got no one to blame but yourself. Facts. Why am I so surprised though? I basically built this business from the ground up all by myself. Right, Why would right. It matter you get attached to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to stay focused and continue taking on the types of jobs I can do on my own. Salty massages, yes. I'm becoming pretty optimistic about this. Sorry, Mob, this probably wasn't what you were expecting, but I'm not upset about this at all. I'm sure you must be feeling pretty lonely right about now. Nope. <laughs> no. I mean, they're both great for each other, is the truth. They, they just need to sort of rebalance their understandings of each other, because Mob is growing so quickly. 
Spend time with the bro. I bet that by now, Mob is really regretting his decision. <laughs> you projecting much? awkward about talking to me. I'm a mature adult. I understand. <laughs> it's not like I'd even care to begin with. He cares so much, it hurts. It looks like he's genuinely having fun. Mob Reagan's actually has friends. Where are Reagan's friends? Come to think of it. Shigeo doesn't seem to be concerned about you or what you're doing in the slightest. It's been kind of peaceful. What? Weirdly, this sort of feels like Reagan not valuing himself or not realizing what he offers like he's trying to resort to this weird push-pull relationship and a bizarre battle for power with a middle school student when he needn't do that like he's a great figure for mob and mob is a great figure for him and that's all there and would keep the relationship great without all this weird stuff the weird stuff's getting in the way and that's what pushed mob away it's like mob feeling like he's being taken for granted it can be really difficult you know to have a relationship with anyone is to sort of put your heart in their hands in a way and there's sort of no way around that you just sort of have to accept it and i think actually the best way to preserve it is to ignore the instincts to cling on ignore the instincts to sort of fight underhandedly to ensure people are with you and manipulate them although that's a strong word with punishment or reward thinking that that's going to be the thing that keeps them with you if you just are good you know if you really are good and you speak honestly about your feelings and your priority really is to be who you are and to respect the other person and to love the other person not only because you need them but because you genuinely have positive regard for them and want them to be happy and want them to be successful you can just speak what's true to you even if it's what you are afraid of you know even if it's what you need in a humble way that's self-directed and non-accusatory like this is how i feel this is what i want i'm not blaming you this is the emotions that i'm having about this i'm afraid of losing you i want you to think of me this way it's a little weird to imagine him having this conversation with mom but just in general in life one of the things is going to happen either the person is not going to be able to understand it and is not going to want the same things that you want and that's terrifying it's for that reason that people don't do that right there's the risk that you lay yourself bare and you're you're speared right or the other person leaves you but ultimately even though it's hard to swallow it is for the best then you know it's people who don't care about you who don't really want to know who you actually are removing themselves from your life in a way or people who haven't yet learned to respect honesty and respect compassion and humility and things like that or they are the kind of person and the relationship will be enhanced and there will be fewer dark elements sort of underpinning the whole thing and making it toxic in other words this isn't it you know it's already there but this isn't it this isn't no i on the other hand will be taking my career on up to the next level yeah, sure. What kind well, of salt I'm is higher than Himalayan? You're doing all right. If you can crack jokes and be this happy, there's no need to worry. Who knows? We may never see each other again. Yikes! Really calling that bluff there. Guess I'll use tonight to update the homepage. What else can you do but work? I'm not ready. No, relax. Get in there. Live a little. Lead with your face into the wall. Oh, since I'm online, I should check friend book. <laughs> so much for working. Relatable. Looks like I have a new message here. Sorry for not reading like it sooner. I lacking for friends. So busy, you know? Spam. Could it be? A birthday message? Zero, huh? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He's not going to read mom's message? Perv master. We got a fresh batch of pervy. I don't know about you. That's the first one I'm clicking. You're a fake. I'll curse you. Is it the same guy? Are you still in that shady business? Remember our neighbors. Oh no, it's a mom shame email. He's all alone, getting shamed by his mom on his birthday, who reminds him that he's all alone. PDF presents. God, this is sad. Oh, it's a job ad. So tell me, do you like strange girls? Oh, that hurts. Oh, from mom. On his birthday. Mom's gotten the hang of it. This is basically karaoke in a nutshell. You have no rhythm at all, do you, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> hey, at least the man knows himself. That's rare skill in karaoke. Welcome back. It's been far too long. Time to celebrate with my favorite friend, alcohol. Wait, should you be drinking right now? Yeah. <laughs> regulars here are nice, but they're also the type of people who'd fall for pyramid schemes, fake cults, stuff like that. In other words, your customers. Get a load of this one! Ring Just the other day, this really pretty girl started chatting me up, so I walked along with her and she led me to some art exhibit. An exhibit where a copy of a famous painting was on display. That's a dating scheme. I'll give and then them he, some he random broke something. advice. In return, I get their respect. Interesting. He has formed sort of like a transactional way of approaching relationships. That's bizarre. He seems to struggle having connections with people or doing anything where there isn't some sort of lure or exchange. That's a really sad place to be. And I know for a fact that sort of warps your psychology if you spend too much time there. People stop being people and they start being objects of gratification in a sense. And then everything's an opportunity cost from that point on. He might be the closest thing I have to real friends. Besides alcohol, <laughs> alcohol never betrays you. Thanks. Cheers. 
the loneliness, man. The loneliness, it's so... Oh, God, it hurts. Your face is flushed. You feeling okay? No, don't know. Alcohol betrayed us, too. Just like everyone else. <laughs> Should have invited Mob to the shindig. That would have been fun. Well, that backfired. Yeah. I thought I wanted to talk to someone. To anyone. Oh, no. It sure does suck to realize you don't have any friends. And, yeah, and it all starts to be in a busy place in that state. In this. Oh, my God. Just, he got drunk in his own sadness. Why is he throwing up, though? I can't believe this is happening. Is it a curse? Is he cursed? Me, of all people. Maybe this whole thing is a curse. I guess I'm just gonna have to become somebody. Dark Knight of the Soul. I've been there a lot. But it's all energy. Alone and getting over it, Reagan made huge changes in his life. What do you do with it? He started using his time to help beautify the city. He live streamed okay. exorcisms online. He there held free seminars and even offered people life coaching and counseling. This is all all good. This all seems good. All right, I gotta read this again. I love this. One of the few real psychics listened to me, gave me advice. I finally met my match. As long as you get results, right? I mean, he is helping people. That's the thing. There was a rumor that the player killer was actually a ghost. The online ghost. Reagan used multiple accounts and stayed up late night after night. He then baited the ghost player out, surrounded it, and beat the living crap. <laughs> in doing so, he finally succeeded in the exorcism. Pretty cool. Got to play games for a living. I made too many in-game purchases and now I'm broke. <laughs> oh no. Because of his success at this well-publicized job, salt now. the agency's notoriety continued to grow. Popularity percent. Someone started calling Reagan the bro of Seasoning City. That is a great title, my god. But does this help the loneliness in your heart? National broadcast. If you manage to get popular on television, you'll immediately shoot to the top of the psychic world. There's a trick in here. Is the con man gonna get conned? We also have some psychics here with us for this special. This program. guy, Joto Kirin. Joining us. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks, the pleasure's all mine. I feel like this guy has a grudge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, show them, them what, what I've got. What's his ultimate goal, I wonder? Thinking, isn't it? Who do you think mentioned you to the program's producer? Oh no, it is a setup. It was I, Jodo, about how you had the nerve to nail me with a Oh yeah! Strike. I forgot about that. It was in his body. Bitter much? What? That's the end of the episode? Damn it. Not much mob. The Reagan saga. I'm really glad for this because Reagan is an awesome character and obviously has a rare wisdom and it's just super cool and capable. There's a darkness in, in there. I think I speculated that he was running away from something. Well, there are certain things that seem to be catching up to him. It's unclear to me and I'm guessing to himself what his priorities are. He's trying to prove something to himself, it seems. He's trying to prove something to the world. I'm guessing it's no coincidence that he's an outcast or that he doesn't have a solid social circle. The guy's got a chip on his shoulder and he's a survivor. He's had adversity and he sees things as transactional and weighs costs of people. I mean, he has a warm heart, but I think probably his experiences have left him somewhat jaded and distrustful. And that's a tough place to start from in forming relationships or navigating the world. It's interesting because he's successful in this way. And to his credit, you know, he built that, like he made that himself. So he's a success, but his success seems to be a cover-up. Him trying to mask other pain or fill holes with things that don't fit in those holes. And nothing is going to feel quite right until that is addressed. And I think the answer lies with Mob. Not Mob as a friend, but in the way he treats Mob, sort of seeing him as someone to sort of have on a string and to use for his own advantage. You can do that with people. It works for a while or for a short time. It doesn't work forever. People get wise to it. People want to be valued for who they are and they want to feel loved and they don't want to feel like tools. And Mob has enough going for him that he's not going to be stuck there in that state, even if he truly loves Reagan. It hurts because there actually is a great relationship there. There's a great potential there because they're both amazing people and they both are great compliments to each other and they love each other, clearly. You know, you ignore these things at your own peril. You ignore these fundamental human needs at your own peril. They have a way of bringing everything down. But for Reagan, it's there for the taking. It just depends on how he frames other people and how he sees himself in relationships and how much he's able to sort of let the defenses down, open up and be the solid person that I know he is.